What up, guys? Huh. Huh. What's up, guys? So, uh, welcome back to another one. Today, we're taking the wife's rig here. Uh, the old Dodge has uh, seen better days. The, uh, the the AC went out on the Dodge. So, hey, how you doing? Uh, the old AC shot crap on the old Dodge, so I'm not about to sweat my balls off trying to do this scouting video for you guys. But, today, we're going to drive out to where I do a lot of my dove and duck and goose hunting and we're going to do a little bit of dove scouting. A lot of you guys should be out in the fields right now, uh, out in the fields, out driving around looking at fields scouting for dove. Dove you need to scout for. It's one of them things you just don't go out unless it's just a hot, hot spot that you kill them and just murder them every year at the same spot. Um, you got to go and scout them just like any other bird. So, dove, they're not too hard to scout. They're a lot easier than pigeons because it seems like they're more abundant and you're going to catch them in flight a lot more. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get out there and see if we can find any. Oh, yeah, look at the pigeons. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I swear... Even more than dove hunting, I love pigeon hunting. Any of you that's been watching the channel, pigeon hunting is my shiznit. Oh, washboard roads. So here's my first tip that I'm gonna give you guys right here, right here. This is what I do. Driving down dirt roads like this here, watch your power lines. Look at this power line. See them two doves, three doves? There's actually three dove right there on that power line. A lot of times, whoa, I am way zoomed in. Uh, a lot of times, I'm gonna drive this road just like I am now, right here again. Look at this. Again, there, we got doves on the power line, four more. So this is a telltale sign just to uh, be able to find dove. So pay attention to your power lines. If you're in the area that you're gonna be hunting that you always do hunt, look at your power lines because that tells you that they're in the area. The power line deal is just an easy way to find, you know, in the vicinity of where they're at and where they're going to be feeding. Oh my god, look what I just found on accident. Look at that right there. I found me a little pigeon feed. I've never seen them in this field. Uh oh. Old Trace, we're going to have to come tear this up, boy. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, finding pigeons, boys. So, I guess that's how you find pigeons. That's the first time I've seen them in that field for sure. So as far as types of fields, guys, like this here, this is gonna be a tall bean field. This, this field here, I've actually hunted this field for dove with beans in it, and you can't hunt dove in a bean field like this, guys. You're just not, you're gonna shoot them. You're gonna shoot them, they're gonna be flying over it, but you're not gonna find your dead birds. You're just, you're not. So you're gonna lose a lot of dead birds and it's just not worth it. Now, one of my favorites, cut corn. Cut corn uh, by far is one of my favorites. It seems like a lot of times uh, farmers around the area will cut the corners of their irrigated corn first and those corners are just money because uh, the reason why they're money is because we have an irrigated field that has water for them to drink from that has you know water holes you know puddles for the dove to drink from and we have all the corners of that irrigated field that are cut with feed on the ground so cut corn fields cut corners if you see cut corners because a lot of farmers will cut them corners way before the main harvest and when they cut them corners them dove just flood to those fields and eat the hell out of the corn so that would be one of my best tips uh, for a lot of you across the country a lot of you don't have sunflower fields I would say sunflower fields is by cut sunflower fields is by far the best field to hunt dove out of pigeons also they love sunflower seeds and uh, they just bomb it. But 
unfortunately there's just not as many sunflower fields as there is corn so when you see those corners cut on those irrigated corn fields go hit up that farmer try to get permission right now guys why i'm doing this scouting video is you guys should be out scouting trying to get permission on fields where you see dove right now we only have about 15 or so days until the season opens so a lot of people are going to be calling farmer, farmers a lot of people are going to be getting permission right now and you guys need to get the heads up so just like here guys we have a uh, cut wheat field and i'm seeing a lot a lot of dove in this field we hunt <coughs> we hunt cut wheat fields quite a bit um not as good as cut corn fields by no means but when you find a water hole in those cut wheat fields that's going to be your ticket one thing i can add to dove hunting in any cut field is if you can find a water hole a decent sized water hole maybe it's you know just excess from the irrigation system maybe you've just been getting a bunch of rain like we have and just like us on all these fields that i'm scouting we should have water holes in the water holes are going to be key to hunt out of that's where you're going to want to set your decoys that's where you're going to want to sit your dove mojo or your spinner whatever you use and hunt them dove because they're going to be flying into that puddle to get a drink water holes surrounded by feed for dove the best mixture the best combination that you can ask for to shoot a bunch of birds so another example here i don't know if this is blown out and you can't see it but this cornfield we 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 hunt a bunch uh this farmer actually didn't even plant his his uh corners this year so he he did not plant his corners on this irrigated cornfield so that's going to be a bust up until he cuts cuts this thing so that kind of sucks so guys i hope the wind isn't too bad we got a little bit of wind going on but like i said hunt hunting dove you have to scout you have to you have to get in the truck you got to put on the miles remember watch your power lines guys power lines is a telltale sign about where the doves are at look we got one flying right here i don't know if you can see him we got a lot of dove in the area get out go find your birds have an awesome dove dove season i'm gonna have another video coming out about my decoys and how i set up uh, my little decoy spreads for dove and where so that should be coming up at the end of the week or so so just as an example guys uh you seen me find those pigeon you're not gonna find doves sitting in the field like that pigeons are big enough to where you're gonna you're gonna see them they're big enough to see in like the cut wheat fields in that stubble doves they're too small you're not going to see them so the only way to find dove is to find them in flight they're going to be flying over their feeds they're going to be on the power lines around where they feed so so guys sorry the camera died my bad um uh, that was a really successful scouting you know uh, I wasn't even planning on finding those pigeon. That was a huge, huge bonus. Uh, we're going to try to get on that field and, and do a little hunt on them, their pigeons. There is only, you know, about 70, 80 birds there. But for two guys, that wouldn't be a bad hunt at all. So real quick, this video idea came from Patrick Ekstrom. Thank you, brother. I, uh, I replied to your comment like, hey, he was like, hey, he said, it's about to be dove season. Do some dove tips. I uploaded this video what would be yesterday for me, but two days ago for you guys watching this. And uh, right away he commented, he's like, hey, dude, you need to do some dove tips because it's coming. So thank you, brother. I appreciate that a bunch. And you guys, if you guys have any video tips, if you want to see me cover something, if you have questions about something, or if you have a good tip, you're like, hey, man, you need to cover this, do this, or a good idea, let me know down below in the comments. I love video ideas. I get so many great ideas from you guys, and I will give you a great shout out, just like Patrick, right on here. But if you don't have any uh, suggestions for videos, let me know what types of fields you guys shoot the most dove in. Where, where do you go every year? What's your fire spots that you go to and you just freaking slay birds? Let me know because I'd like to just pay attention to different types of fields. I know there's like sand, 
sand thickets, plum thickets in the sand with, with water. That, that's, dove loves sand. I didn't cover that. Uh, I've done a lot of dove hunts in sand, so that's another tip. If you have a really sandy area with a pond, should be money. So, But guys, I'm going to get off here. Drop a thumbs up if you appreciate these type of tip videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.